different ways to cook in my kitchen. It's uh, pressure cooking. I mean, it has really changed the way that I prefer, prepare food for myself and for my family because you know what? It's so easy. You throw in ingredients from frozen and you literally walk away and you come back to the most delicious, mouth-watering meats, potatoes, rice, you name it. You can do it all in a pressure cooker. Um, we're so thrilled to have a customer pick from Geek Chef coming up for you next because this is hands down one of the most affordable pressure cookers that I've ever seen, but it's the most feature rich. This is an 11 in one. So it's your pressure cooker. It's your slow cooker. It's your sous vide, which I've never seen in a pressure cooker before. You can even make yogurt. All you do is put everything inside. You press a button and you simply walk away. We're going to show you amazing ingredients and recipes and things that you can create. All you have to do, I want to let you know right off the bat, is we do have some colors for you to choose from. This is going to be your copper. We also have it for you in a stainless steel. We have it in a black and we have it in a red. Uh, $13 and change on your charge card this afternoon. Stephanie Roberts is joining us. Hello. Are you browning something I'm in there? cooking up a storm. Before. I mean, you can do it all in you this. You can do it all, but I want you to start here because okay. the entire studio is smelling and enjoying our pot roast. This is what pressure cooking is known for. You put in a three, four, five pound roast, the veggies, the carrots, you put it all right in there. You push a button as you said and walk away and you come back in an hour or less. This one cooks for about 45 minutes. Oh my gosh. Dinner is done. You know, slow cooking has its place and our Geek Chef pressure cooker is also a slow cooker. Right. But what I like about this is if it's five o'clock on Monday and I have yet to get dinner on the table, this gets it done for me. And it's not just about slapping something together. It's about the most decadent, wonderful smelling and tender meal that you will ever do. So rather than roasting in the oven for three hours, rather than having to have everything thawed and prepped and ready to go, a pressure cooker eliminates the fact that you may need to do it in less time. Not to mention, you can take a so-so cut of meat and have it turn into tender goodness. Now, in less what, than an hour. I know, in less than an hour. Mm -hmm. What I love about Geek Chef is how user-friendly the entire machine is. To start with, it has a brain. It has a virtual brain all its own. So that once I decide to make something, let's say we are doing a meat and stew, all I do is choose the program. Now, 15 minutes is not quite enough for my big four pound roast, fine. So then I start altering the time. You get to pick, but it gives you the starting base of what it knows it needs. So beans and chili, 15 minutes. Rice, 10 minutes. Chicken, 15 minutes. Soups, 30 minutes all under pressure, all right here. Once you lock the lid on, it takes off and is good to go. How so easy is that? It doesn't get any easier. And it's got 11 different functions. The one you're seeing right here, one of the most important to me, this is the saute function. Because yeah. honestly, a lot of things we make, you really want to get a saute on the meat first, sure. right? Mm -hmm. Especially with something like chicken, we want to make sure it's done. But I don't want to get another pot out. I don't want to spray it all over the stove. I'm busy. I've got kids around, as do you. You're trying to do lots of things at once. So I've sauteed my chicken tenderloins right here in the pot. Now let's build a 10 minute meal fresh pasta. So honestly, you buy it in the refrigerator section of the grocery store, you rip off the lid and put it on. You could also use regular pasta, but I do like the way the fresh pasta turns out. How about some cream cheese? Because you know we can't do everything healthy in the new year. That's mm -hmm. not too much fun. We're going to make a quick Alfredo. Put in some Parmesan. Now think about this. If I make Alfredo on the stovetop, I have to make a white sauce. I have to stand there and make sure it doesn't burn, make sure it doesn't stick. Put in a little salt and pepper for some flavor. I'm going to add my spinach. So I'm going to make it healthy with my greens. Dump everything in. That's dump the great it all thing. in. You know, I also, while you're doing that, want to point out that this has a stainless steel insert. So a lot of pressure cookers doesn't, they, it, they don't come with a stainless steel. You have to buy that as an upgrade. Absolutely. And it also comes with two different lids and I'm going to show you both of those. Okay. I put in my liquids because if there's one thing you need to know about anything you do, either slow cook or pressure cook, you do have to make sure the liquid function is there. And now simply I'm going to hit pasta and I'm going to walk away. 10 
minutes. This is going to come to the correct temperature. It's going to figure it out. You can see now once it starts cycling through, it is either heating or coming under pressure depending on the function. This one is not under pressure. So you see I'm using a glass lid. Let's talk about the lids and the pots. Carrie mentioned the stainless steel pot and I want to show it to you because it is beautiful. Not only is this an awesome, awesome surface for cooking and very even heating, it gets hot enough so I can get that great sear on my meat, but it also looks nice. So yeah. often I'll just pull it out and put it on a trivet and serve right out of it. And it's dishwasher safe. Exactly. Which is my favorite. I like that it comes with the glass lid because for my slow cook functions, my pasta functions, I can look right in. It is vented as well, so I don't have any problems with things not circulating correctly. And then when it comes to the pressure cooking lid, of course, I'm easy lock, so I can lock and load very easily when I want to cook. But here's the other thing I like about it. It's got a removable lid for cleaning. Nice. So if you get like that gunk underneath it, yeah. which is going to happen, we are cooking under pressure with food. Even if that happens, it is still very easy to clean. So Geek Chef is a fun brand. The reason they call themselves Geek Chef is because they're the geeks that figured out all the computer stuff here. How much time, how much pressure, how to make everything turn out. We don't have to be geeks. We get to be the chefs. So it's kind right. of a fun name of an easy way to cook. And they're gorgeous. Let me show everybody yeah. the colors again. So this is going to be the copper right here. I mean, just a beautiful metallic finish. We have the stainless steel as well. And I'm getting a, um, an update that all of these, we only have a few hundred of each color option. So we have stainless steel, we have red, and we also have black for you. We're shipping this to you for free. So if you've been seeing pressure cooking, if you've thought about the technology and you've wanted to try it, you can try it for $13 and change with a 30 day money back guarantee. And there's so much to do. I mean, the recipe yeah. book has great ideas. And if you put something like salmon and broccoli, because I do a lot of cooking based on what ingredients did I have. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is what was on sale at the grocery this week. So then I go online and start searching. What can I do with salmon and broccoli? Suddenly it's five o'clock on Monday. What can I do with salmon and broccoli in 10 minutes? Then you find out that pressure cooking is the answer. You're also getting the steaming rack, which is awesome for things like fish. Fish is tricky. It dries out very quickly. Yeah. It's hard to grill. It's hard to bake. So I love putting it under pressure and having that moisture contained. Because it has nowhere to go. It Speaking of moisture. Gotta add, always add remember to add it. In this case, I'm gonna steam in wine. Because why not, right? Yeah, I had a little leftover thing. from the weekend. You get to pick like you ever have any leftover. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know, I was gonna get just called kidding. out on that. Okay, um, pregnant lady, you don't get to say that. Just because you I'm can't. Like, I'm just jealous. <laughs> it's pure jealousy. Uh, but you get to pick whatever liquid you want, right? Exactly, you do. So in this case, I want to steam my food. I'm going to head it push steam. 10 minutes goes on the clock. Again, I walk away. It takes care of bringing it to temperature. I love this because the kids are trying to get their homework done. The yeah. dog needs to be walked. I I'm trying to sit down, you know? Yep. Like this is really mother's little helper when yep. it comes time to getting dinner on the table under duress. And let's be real, every night of the week can involve duress. The other thing I like, it's got an automatic stay warm function. So if I do something like slow cook chicken dumplings, okay, Yum. this just screams, Yum. make me feel better in cold January weather. And six quarts of it. Uh, I, mean, exactly. I love it, you make six quarts of it, right? And remember with pressure cooking, you can do as little or as much Absolutely. as you want. Because I just put in one piece of salmon and some broccoli. Don't feel that because you're seeing six quarts, you think, oh, well, I'm only feeding two people. I'll never use it. Put one small chicken breast and some asparagus in it. You're still done in 10 minutes. Uh, well, here's the thing. You didn't take anything out of the freezer that morning, right? You go home. You get that frozen chicken breast. You throw it in. You add a frozen bag of vegetables. And then literally, it could be a can of broth. It could be marinara exactly. sauce. It could be wine. It could be whatever liquid. Would you, it could be hot, oh, um, like hot sauce or, you right. know. Add a little spice. Absolutely. You pour it in, you lock down the lid, and you push a button. And it will, all of the flavor, all of the moisture, all is locked in and infused in your food. It's delicious. Delicious. You press a button and you walk away. Exactly. And you know what? Don't be intimidated by all the functions if it's not something you've worked with before. Because literally, it knows what to do. All you have to do is look at what you're cooking and decide how to work with it. And like I said, the internet does become your best friend. Oh, my, my God. Favorite way to cook is just to look and see what's laying around in the cupboard when I am tight on time for dinner. Okay, yep. so let's talk chili. Okay. First of all, you'll notice that I'm using that saute function once again, which I love because one of the things about chili, whether you're slow cooking or pressure cooking it, you still gotta ground the beef, right? Sure. So if I do that on the stove top, then I'm making a mess. That's just another pot. It's another pot. It's just another thing to clean. With Geek Chef, we are just using one pot 
for absolutely everything. So often, especially with slow cookers, they advertise one pot cooking, but it's not true. Right. Because if you can't saute in your pot, it is not one pot cooking. Well, listen to this. The 12 functions, rice, beans and chili, canning, poultry, steam, pasta, soup porridge, meat stew. You're going to slow cook in this. You're going to make yogurt in it. This is that hot, hot, everybody's sous vide right now. You can actually do that, and I've never seen that in a pressure cooker, at an incredible price point. So you talk about, I mean, you can go on Facebook, you can go online. There are so many slow cooker fans and recipes being shared. Uh, pressure cookers can be expensive, right? This is incredibly affordable for this capacity to be able to get this home for $13 and change, and we're going to ship it to you for free with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So as I was saying, all of that, Stephanie poured all of it. Is that chili? <laughs> I made chili she real quick. She ground the meat, and then she just put all the ingredients in. And might I say, this will be some of the best chili that you've ever had, because yes. normal chili, it's better when it stews on your stovetop for a few hours, right? This, you put it in your pressure cooker for a little bit, and it infuses all of the flavor in Quickly. minutes. Yes, under pressure. So what pressure does is it speeds up every process, whether it's the cooking process, mm -hmm. whether it's the flavor infusing process. So everything I just put in here, the chili powder, the pepper, the garlic powder, the oregano, it's all going to fuse right in here. So I'm done sauteing. I'm going to cancel that function. I am going to move to the beans and chili function. 15 minutes. Now, to nice. truly get good stovetop chili, I'm talking an hour and you have to keep an eye on it and constantly be turning it over, making sure it's not sticking on the bottom. But I want to walk the dog, but I want to get the homework done. 15 minutes, it infuses itself and it is not going to stick. That's the copper. Here's a better look at the black, which is, I mean, that's just gorgeous. It is gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. And here's something else that's gorgeous. I have never in my life been able to cook a corned beef that wasn't just dried out and nasty. Well, you can't even get that out of there. I know, and it's falling apart all over the place, which is exactly what you want. This is a four hour process in the oven, which is probably my family's never had one. I'm not sure my kids even know when it is yet, so I can't wait to show them. Once we were done, it only took an hour and a half in the pressure cooker. Wow. It is falling apart yummy. Then we turned off the cook function and just with the steam, we wilted the cabbage. Mm. No more slimy, icky, this is not your grandmother's pressure cooked cabbage and corned beef. Nothing against my mom, but I never liked the stuff growing up because it just didn't have any consistency. Right. You can control everything you do here so that we can leave just enough crunch in the cabbage, but look at this corned beef. This is heaven. And oh so then we gosh. start to think about busy weeknights. What if on night one, you make a gorgeous corned beef like this, uh -huh. on night two, you make Rubens, on night three down the road, you make corned beef hash. So with a pressure cooker, you cook one day, cook a big piece of meat, buy what's on sale for the week, yep. and then repurpose in different ways as the week goes on. Yeah. One night's chicken becomes the next night's tacos, Absolutely. becomes the third night's casserole. And I'll tell you what, it'll be the best chicken, it'll be the best, It'll be the best ribs, and I love to say ribs this time because we're getting ready for you know the big game coming up and all the excitement around that right now. Um, you throw ribs in here, and I tell you what, your guests will be like, these are the most fall off the bone amazing ribs ever. So you choose again your color, black, copper, red, or stainless steel. You get that cook and look lid, which is gonna make it your slow cooker as well. You get the steaming insert. Yes, you get the stainless steel insert, which like I said, a lot of pressure cookers if you want the stainless steel insert, that is an upgrade and you have to buy that extra. So that's coming along. It goes in the dishwasher when you're done. That is a lot of food <laughs> that, that you is. poured out of there. So we've been talking about all sorts of different options. I can make chili for two. I can make a small roast. I can make yeah. one piece of salmon. But if I want to utilize all six quarts, get it out for the entertaining, get it out for the party. In my case, I've got four teenage boys. I literally cooked all weekend long. Like by the end of last night, I thought I can't do this anymore. But yes, you can, because you can make food in bulk. This is chicken and yellow rice. We sauteed the chicken off right here in the stainless steel pot. We steamed it with the yellow rice and the veggies. That is a feast. If you are feeding a lot of people or you only want to cook once this week, you can make a big load on a Sunday and then freeze it, repurpose it, whatever you want to do. But this is the quickest way mm -hmm. to get great food on the table. We did the same thing with beef stew. We've done our can. You will use this for as many ways as you want. Yeah. And I do want to show you that when we first started talking, we put in our pasta Alfredo. I have not 
touched it one minute for the mm. past 10 minutes and look what is ready to serve. By the way, these cute little utensils also included. Also included is a measuring cup, but look, pasta Alfredo with a white sauce and cooked oh pasta my gosh. that I didn't stir. We didn't sit here and make a white sauce while we talked. We cooked 12 other ingredients. Okay, so the salmon that you put in with the wine, I can smell. You I can, can smell, smell it. Wine it's ready. Look at this. It smells so good. <gasps> Ooh, oh, look I at like. that. Uh, that's the thing with this is it's that you literally put the ingredients in and you walk away and you go take that bath. Like you said, you walk the dog or you help the kids with their homework. It is so simple for you to do and you get to try it risk-free for 30 days. Only $13.80 on your charge card. Look at that. Imagine going to a restaurant and getting that for a family of four you would pay more than the price of the pressure cooker absolutely you would for and that and think about what's that in that good. that is sauteed chicken that is pasta cooked fresh mm. and that is a cream sauce that's three different pots and a fair amount of cooking skill yeah. if i'm doing it on the stove or uh, i plop it all in the geek chef walk away and it does the work it's a customer pick already don't miss out on this opportunity to get the free shipping and handling as well uh, stephanie thank you for being good to here see you. everything smells amazing all right I'm going to give you a moment to get your order in on your favorite color and stick around. I have our longest running item here at HSN coming up next.